Hey, Deanna with Divine Destiny and Empowering Empaths. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. Today I just wanted to come on and share a brief video on the importance that I found during my spiritual awakening and as I began to heal on my journey and start evolving towards the soul that I've always meant to be is first and foremost my spiritual teacher. Um, I have many brought this the importance of refilling after we empty out our wounds and so it kind of reminds me of the cups card right the water cards in the tarot and the importance of doing that i'm coming to you on january 13th 2020 we're in this new decade now it's really a time for all of us to step into our authenticity and then i just wanted to share a few key tips on the importance of as we're unfolding and releasing all of these wounds that we may have gathered through our whole lifetime, prior lifetimes even, um, the importance of when we're trying to empty out all these old programs, right? Like our brain is a computer. And in order for us to clear that and start over on a new path, being authentic to you, we have to empty out all these old programs that maybe possibly weren't even your own. And so I think the biggest aha moment for me when I had this realization shared to me by a beautiful spiritual brother is that when we get into this position of we have awareness that we have wounds, core wounds, you know, could be unworthiness or shame or guilt, um, even created throughout this life that we weren't even aware of and we have this aha moment going whoa i have all these wounds i need to unpack them but the key thing to remember is as we're clearing out these files these old programs right and wanting to start co-creating a life that we really want the importance of refilling your cup meaning refilling with the things that you're wanting going forward that was something my beautiful spiritual teacher shared with me. I was reflecting upon it today and I'm like, this is so important because what happens when we empty things out? These programs will just start running right through our being, through our mind over and over again because we've been pro possibly been running on these same programs, you know, your entire life, even possibly past lives. So making sure in order to be healed, to heal, to keep progressing as a soul, we have to heal our wounds. That's the importance of our own energy and how that impacts the collective. So really remember, in order to heal, we first have to feel heard. And second, vulnerability, trust. Now, you may have carried wounds that are from karmic relations throughout this life. So you feel like you can't be vulnerable and trust with the humans but you can always trust spirit trust me i started surrendering these wounds of shame mother wounds guilt um low self-worth but i didn't do this in the physicality with another being at that point you know you're wounded you don't trust so if you could be putting your energy out there with people who aren't deserving of your vulnerability yet. That'll open you up to getting more wounds. So what I want to say to you is that spirit, surrender and vulnerability it is a must to heal. And in order to heal, we have to feel heard. So spirit always hears us. Our thoughts are always heard. Our prayers, our energy, our intentions are always heard. So if you feel like you're at a point where you're too wounded, you can't trust in the flesh, which most likely you've been at a vibration of, that's what the kind of people you've had around you that weren't authentic. If you're wounded, we kind of vibrate into these little collective groups, whether it be family, friends, whatever, acquaintances. In order to heal, you have to. So maybe that's a little bit of a alone time for you, and it's a process of releasing. The aha moment for me was we have to refill our cup. Very key. Because our programs will keep going on the same programs. Like it's emptying out one type of vibration and the same flow because you've possibly been in this program for so long will come back in. So empty out all the low dense belief systems that you carry within yourself. Be vulnerable to spirit. 
There's a power in asking. They will answer our calls and assist us if we ask. They will not interrupt on our free will. So when you're starting to refill your cup of what you want going forward to feel worthy, to know that you are worthy of good things is any of the positive affirmations, but it's a matter of feeling them. And they may feel awkward to you at first if you've been on this lower dense energy of people pleasing, emotional codependency, whatever the program might be. Just trust yourself, trust the spirit, that oneness connection that we all have and be vulnerable to that. They, it don't have to be formal. So it is emptying your cup of whatever your belief system is, whatever it is that you have an awareness of within you that you want to heal, and then filling back up with the positive things and the affirmations. The more you do this, like I said, you might feel uncomfortable at first. I did. Um, the more you do these positive affirmations and you start feeling it, feeling it, believing it, faith in yourself, you will see a transformation in your life. This is a key tip for an empath and, and sensitives, you know, we are deep feelers. So these wounds being released, transmuted, positive affirmations within your vessel, like I said, uncomfortable possibly at first, and the more you do this, it will integrate. That'll be your new program. We dump out the old things. We don't want the old things coming back. We want to transform. This is a new decade. It's time for all of us to rise our consciousness into the oneness that we all are and that we have this endless connection with God, Creator, Spirit, your angels, your deceased loved ones. Um, and it really works. It's a process. Don't give up. Keep going. Step into that light. The more you do it, I promise you, you will feel the difference. You are very worthy of love. So empty your cup. Refill your cup. Always ask for guidance. Be still and listen. And let's see. I think I'll pull an oracle because I love them so much to sum this up. And we will go with a moonology oracle. So God, creator, source, I call upon your divine white light, love, compassion, connection. What message is it for these sensitives to hear today to go along with this emptying their cups of the wounds, starting to step into their authenticity, healing thy wounds, refilling with the things that you wish to co-create in your life, Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Very earthy. New beginnings for you. If you heart chakra, I see that with a lot of the green. This is about worth. This is about the fine things in life, which is love, peace, joy, abundance, gratitude. If you do this emptying and you keep working on you, you keep refilling with the things that are you're passionate about in your life. That was a huge thing, man. And that was a very huge thing because I would empty out. And then all of my same negative thought patterns, beliefs that were going on, whoever's program, not my own, would come right flowing back in again. The importance of refilling that cup. Prosperity lies ahead of you. Abundance lies ahead of you. This is about good things for your highest good we do not have to be in lack we can change that mindset heal ourselves we impact the whole i send this to you with so much love today if you like my channel like subscribe share if this resonates to help other people i share the power of being in your authenticity because as we heal and as we rise we raise the consciousness of this planet i send this to you so much love and namaste